here we are again with my robot same as before, a few new wires hanging off it the thing I've added this time is the infrared receiver array that you can see on top I've got some information on how to do multiple infrared receivers on a single Arduino board on my blog and that's set up to receive signal from the lace tagger that I've made here fairly rudimentary laser tagger screen on the back can't really see too well here let me see if I can focus on it no apparently not so I've got a number of favorites set in there this is rapid fire fairly basic ammunition makes it spaz out a little bit when it's hit and after a number of hits it should run out of lives and you can see it's now unresponsive let me just focus again and now it's completely unresponsive to the controller I'll just go reset its life count and it's back in action programmed in a number of special ammunition still a few bugs with this but by and large it's working okay I'll use the freak out ammo on it and it freaks out uh, that's about it haven't programmed many other types of ammunition into it uh, really just a proof of concept for using Arduino as the basis for a laser tagger system could be expanded to have uh, human players or just to fight against the robot thank you very much just to go over the features of this laser tagger here all printed on my 3d printer got a 9 volt battery ammo clip here I also did up a 3 by AA uh, battery clip power switch red and yellow muzzle flash laser tagger, uh, laser pointer to show where you're aiming, uh, infrared uh, LED, a 40mm focusing lens uh, on an adjustable, um, I guess, uh, adjustable focus uh, setup. Um, this board here holds the uh, the circuit board I made, including an encoder for controlling the type of ammunition. This here holds the Arduino basic switch in the trigger. Um, and you can, fairly simple, uh, you can use the encoder knob to select the ammo slot and change the type of ammo you've got, or a switch for your thumb to uh, cycle through favorites. Not bad, I'm happy with it.